Torsten Krenzlin joins me now. He is the CEO of Sundial Growers, the NASDAQ trader uh, the, under the symbol SNDL. Torsten, welcome. Thank you. Torsten, I can't believe it's taken us this long to acquaint ourselves with each other considering how great your company's been doing and how well highly spoken of it is in the industry. And recently you reported results which uh, indicated great revenue. Tell me about Sundial Growers. What is the footprint all look like? Thank you so much. Yeah, look, we've uh, been a bit of a secret here. We've grown really quick over the last uh, two years, built a fantastic consumer packaged goods team uh, that's been driving the progress we've been making, flying under the radar, I guess, successfully under yours until now. And of course, intending to change that. I think the, the NASDAQ listing kind of put us on notice and then hopefully the results today speak for themselves. I mean, with over $20 million in gross revenue, uh, that places us among the, the larger players. We think ourselves as one of the tier ones. You know, we did a big acquisition in Europe. So we are now looking on the international side as well, playing in those three areas that we call heal, help, and play. Heal being medical cannabis, help, the global health and wellness CBD opportunity, and play recreational cannabis and doing that internationally. So really excited about where the team is heading. Wow, that's, uh, that's a, great, uh, a great intro. How is it that you guys stayed so far under the radar for so long out there in Alberta? Um, I mean, it's like you guys just came out of nowhere and really just sort of took the stage by storm. Yeah, look, there's not a lot of coverage of, of private companies. And then, you know, you, you get on the radar once you go public. I think it's been a blessing that we haven't been, you know. So I think the consumer packaged goods approach of driving a profitable, sustainable growth model versus one where, you know, you're going to build a huge business and back in profitability is slightly different than what we've seen so far in cannabis. I think it differentiates Sundial. I've collected a great team, and I think now that the NASDAQ listing became more prominent and people are beginning to see our numbers, we're getting more calls, and it's been good to be able to focus on building a good, solid foundation in our business over the last two years. Sure. You uh, essentially started trading on the 1st of August this year, and... Uh, to say the least, you've come to market at a time when cannab the cannabis sector is basically under pressure as a, a result of the typical summer cycle of disinterest that sets in. How do you sort of envision that? How do you reconcile that with where you're going? And what is it that's going to drive interest in sundial growers going the other way? That's a fair summary. Uh, I think the, the volatility in the industry has obviously been pretty pronounced, maybe even more so over the summer. Things like hand trust certainly didn't help. But, you know, ultimately, I think the, the longer term approach of building a business on our grandchildren hopefully could be proud of one day and doing it one step at a time, one province at a time, one brand at a time, one product at a time, and then replicating that with the CBD approach that we're going to take with our products across Europe is going to set us aside. Uh, look, uh, proactively, you know, our first thing of training wasn't what we had uh, hoped and, and looked forward to, you know, so we could, uh, obviously IPO at $13 and that first day had some very strange trading dynamics in an overall volatile industry and in an overall volatile market. Uh, but I'm really proud of how we've bounced back and see that today we're, we're doing pretty good here, trading a little bit against the trend and hopefully our quarter two results help. Yeah. Um, starting off with Q2 net revenue of $19.3 million. Uh, I'm curious as to what is the source of your revenue uh, in order of pro sort of priority? I think maybe most importantly, it's all cannabis. You know? So <laughs> as I look, at some of, <laughs> so I look at some of the other PLs, sometimes you wonder, you know, how much of that is cannabis and how much of it is other stuff. So we look, it's, it's all cannabis revenue. Um, as we're building our operation here, we've got a flagship facility in Olds, Alberta, uh, where we're now cultivating for sale in 74 grow rooms already. Um, and I think that that revenue is, is really healthy. You know, when you come uh, uh, online with a new facility, some people say it takes three years to really dial in your rooms. So our modular uh, proprietary grow rooms that we've built that are all identical, which are fully controlled, no glass, uh, all elements are under control, have allowed us to really turn really fast and really improve our yields pretty aggressively. Um, but what we do do in the beginning is the first rounds of products are brand new rooms maybe not yet the quality that we want. We're focused on the super premium inhalable segment. That's where Sundial is going to play. So we've been wholesaling some of our initial products to other LPs until we have product that we really want to put our brand name on. Um, and so it's, it's been a combination of some LP to LP sales, so to other licensed producers, and then including increasingly retail uh, through the provincial boards. And, and that's going to swing all, all the way to almost exclusively through the provincial boards and the retailers here as we move forward. Mm -hmm. um, what is your most popular product? 
at the moment, you know, we still have limited SKUs. So we have, we've just started shipping more under the Sundial brand. We started with a product called Zenberry in our so-called Calm product line. And uh, we've now launched three more in, in that uh, under the Sundial brand. Excited about the next two brands that are going to come to market. So it's going to be Top Leaf, really the best cannabis money can buy. That's what I would call that brand. Um, and that's going to come out here in the next couple of uh, weeks and months and then going to uh, scale up across Canada. You know, we started in our home province here in Alberta. Uh, we're still only in the flower format, only in three and a half and seven grams, right? So still a lot to do, still have spaces underneath each of the brands, a lot of geographies to expand into in Canada. So excited about the future here. Great. Well, Torsten, uh, we're going to leave it there for now. That's a great introduction to the company. Uh, congratulations on your go public. I look forward to speaking to you more in the future. Let's do that. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Bye for now. Thank you, bro.